<sighs> She's so good. <laughs> everyone, this kid is really talented. Hi, everyone. It's me, Grant, movie and TV guy. We're going to raise on popcorn with Grant. Um, we have one more review for you tonight. And um, it is a review of a film that also functions kind of as a visual album. And let's talk about it because movies and TV is what we do here. And today we're talking about Olivia Rodrigo driving home to you, parentheses, a sour film. Um, this is directed by Stacey Lee. It is a documentary slash, like I said, visual album of uh, focusing on the making of the album Sour, the debut album of Olivia Rodrigo, who is only 19 years old and yet has talent that could rival people in their, you know, 80s. Um... She's essentially the new Atlantis, and I mean that as an absolute compliment. Um, sorry, this is kind of a Disney kid, still kind of is in that bubble. She's on High School Musical, the series. But she really, I mean, Driver's License was kind of the thing that sort of is the catalyst, and I, like many people, was really touched by it. thought it was a really moving song, um, and I listened to the rest of the album, and I loved it. And so, now she has this film. And there's not really a lot to say about it, really, other than... If you're a fan of Olivia Rodrigo, you're going to love this. This is going to be like, um, I consider myself a fan. I like her a lot. I love this. This is like icing on a cake. And um, beautiful cinematography of California, where this was shot. Um, really great uh, new sort of arrangements with some orchestral elements of all the albums, uh, all the songs in the album. And some nice tidbits about uh, the making of it. Along with some really kind of, Interesting insights from this very well-spoken young woman as she kind of ex talks about her um, life as a child actor turned pop star, where she talks about how she really admires people who can tell her when she isn't doing a good job. And she said the reason why is because when she's you're a child actor, you're in a bubble where everyone is telling you you're doing a great job. And in her mind, it basically caused her to rewire herself to be like, I'm doing a bad job. Uh, because she was always told that she was doing a good job. That was really in, uh, really deep. I was really surprised by that. Um, but yeah, it was really good. And um, the songs are great. She's very talented and very well spoken. And um, it's pretty great. Uh, if there's maybe one flaw I'd give it, I don't think it's much of an actual movie. It's really short. It's about 76 minutes long. Uh, if you don't count the credits, it's a little shorter. And it really is the songs. I mean, most of it is just the song. But that's fine. Um, this is what it's for. So I can't go all the way with it just because I, it, it, it's, the, it's, it's just... I feel like if it was 15 minutes longer, I could probably qualify it more. But even on by the basis of short films, because there are some movies that I see that are, are shorter than average, but I really love, like Shiva Baby is around the same runtime as this. It just didn't have enough to it to film-wise. But on a musical level, this movie's pretty great. As a as an album, five stars. As a movie. Uh, it's not even that much of a four and a half out of five stars. This is a really solid, f mo uh, you know, documentary, visual album, whatever you want to call it, um, with some nice insights thrown in there. And if you're a fan, you're going to love this. So, it's very good, and it's definitely worth checking out. Um, all right. Uh, trailer Trash None. Watch it on Disney+. Plus. Was there shawarma? Uh, a little bit. There were some pictures at the end, some photographs, um, right at the very beginning of the credits. Otherwise, nope. All right. So, uh, we'll be back next for Morbius. I no, the Oscars. That's right. The Oscars are Sunday. Um, and then Morbius, um, we're going to check out Apollo 10 and a half, The Bubble, and Better Nate Than Ever, which really enough has Joshua Bassett in it. Wow. Uh, Kind of a quinky dink. Um, so anyway, um, yeah, uh, that'll all be next time. And until next time, I'm Grant, the movie and TV guy. I see it all, and I'm happy to share it with you. And I want you, to, I want to know down below, um, what did you think of Olivia Rodrigo driving home to you a sour film? Did you like it? Did you dislike it? Did you like my review? Do you think I'm full of shit? Comment below. Let me know. And um, I love you all. I appreciate you all. I love you all, class is missed. I love you 3,000. Be kind to one another. Um, 
If you like this video, give it a like if you want to. Give it a subscribe if you want to. Give it the bell. I don't know what it does. That's supposed to do. Or so I've been told. If you want to find me also, reviews, listen to other fun stuff, you can check me out on letterbox.com at Raisin Popcorn with Grant. Some of you already have, but even if you haven't, take care of yourself, take care of your mental health. It's very important. And until we meet again, we're all raised on popcorn. Make mine with extra butter. I'll catch you guys next time. See ya.